What's going on Team Lethal fans? It's Joe here with Lethal Performance. Today we're back with another Two Minute Tuesdays and today we're going to be talking about supercharger pulleys. Now regardless of the supercharger system you have, whether it be a centrifugal system like a Pro Charger or a Vortex system, or you have a root style blower like a Whipple or a Roush unit, it's going to use a pulley in order to spin the unit and make boost. Now the most popular way to get that supercharger spinning, at least on the road going applications, is going to be through the serpentine belt system, basically going in line with the rest of your serpentine system. We're talking your AC compressor, your alternator, your water pump, and a couple other things depending on your specific vehicle. And of course the supercharger kits generally come with all of the brackets and pulleys required to hook up the supercharger kit in your car's stock serpentine belt system. Now with the supercharger installed, the serpentine belt system is going to now spin that supercharger along with the rest of the things in the system. Now coming back to just the pulleys, each manufacturer typically sends out a pulley with their supercharger that is made specifically for your application to run on safely. Now the beautiful thing about most supercharger systems is that it's really easy to up that horsepower and up that boost level simply by swapping out you guessed it, a supercharger pulley. Now, if you swap it out to a smaller diameter supercharger pulley, that in turn will spin the rotors or the turbine faster in the supercharger unit, thus making more boost and allowing you to make more power with proper tuning. Now, if you're not wanting to mess with the supercharger pulley for some reason, you can also overdrive the rest of the belt system with an overdrive balancer. And what that's gonna do is essentially spin the entire serpentine belt system faster, and in turn, of course, spin the supercharger faster because it is in line with the rest of the serpentine belt system. However, this typically isn't the most popular option because it does require you to swap out your harmonic balancer for a balancer with an overdrive pulley on it. Now, if you're looking for more boost, you can run a smaller supercharger pulley and an overdrive balancer setup at the same time. However, you do wanna be extra careful that you're not overspinning your supercharger because if you overspin your supercharger, it can lead to a catastrophic failure of the unit as it's only designed to run a specific max RPM. So if you are overrunning your supercharger unit, you run a big risk of exploding that unit and of course damaging the internals of your engine at the same time. Now a very common issue with a majority of the supercharger systems is going to be belt slip. And that basically forms when the supercharger gets a bit of resistance from all that boost that it's making and it starts pushing back essentially on the serpentine belt system. And the first thing to give is going to be that serpentine belt going around that pulley that's basically being drugged along by the rest of the accessories on the serpentine system. Now that belt slip there is going to result in a loss of boost and is typically seen on the higher end of the boost scale and the RPM scale. So it's basically losing your boost in arguably the worst possible spot right at the end of your power band. So with that being said, is there a way to fix it? Yes, we have a few solutions from a few different manufacturers, including pulleys from GripTech, SPE Motorsport, and of course, Whipple's 10 rib upgrade kit, which are all designed to help eliminate belt slip. As the name suggests, GripTech's pulleys are designed specifically with machined grooves inside of the pulley system that go the reverse way of the serpentine belt in order to help grip that belt even more than just your standard pulley. They work extremely well and it's what we use on all of our supercharger builds. SPE Motorsports also makes a pulley that does a similar effect as to grabbing that serpentine belt and helping it grip that pulley a bit better. You can also upgrade the entire serpentine belt system if you have a race application to a 10 rib system, which ultimately, because you have more contact on the supercharger pulley, you're going to get more grip with that. And that's gonna do it, guys. That was our two minute Tuesday on supercharger pulleys. Sorry that it took a little bit longer than two minutes, but I hope you guys found this video informational. If you guys have any questions or you wanna check out some supercharger pulleys for your setup, click the links in our description or drop a comment below or reach out by email at support at lethalperformance.com. This has been Joe with Lethal Performance and I'm out of here.